So basically, this is the first time I've been getting into natural stone beads, and I'd like to know if they're authentic. I'm seeing a lot of these green inclusions under the 10 times magnification jeweler's loop. And I've even crushed these stones. See, I'm seeing a lot of that green inclusion through all of them. Then you get that cloudiness. I mean, they're very beautiful. There's no question about that. But that green inclusion pretty much goes through many of the stones. And as mentioned, I crushed the stone to compare it because agate is a silica-based stone. So when it crushes, it crushes in shards, as you can see here. I also compared that to a crushing a quartz specimen here with mica present. And I noticed that this crushes into a powder I mean, there's a silica type shards, but then there's also this powder, which I assume is mica, so it's probably not the best comparison. If the colors are neon or exceptionally vibrant or bright, that could indicate a fake. I was gonna use these for a necklace as a spacer for this necklace here with different coins and medallions on it. But there's no way that I'm going to get these beads through this two millimeter diameter leather cord when they're on monofilament fishing, fishing line. I mean, that's not even a millimeter. So I'm not really sure how you would thread these beads. Uh, maybe others could post in the comments. What kind of um, chain do you use or wire to thread that? That's the diameter of monofilament line. There's a nice one right there. See how some of them are differently shaped, a little bit oblong shaped? And I would appreciate you posting your comments about this subject as far as identifying real natural stone beads as opposed to counterfeits, resin, glass counterfeits, which are ubiquitous on eBay, and I presume other sites as well. And I look forward to reading your comments about that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and stay cool.